Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial on how to install Python, OpenCV, PyBullet, etc. on your Windows and Linux system and get started with robotics. Okay, so Harsh Mehshka here a from ITBHU Electrical Part 2 and let's get into the video. So first I'll teach you how to install this stuff on Windows. Okay, so the point here is installing this stuff in Linux is quite easy. You have to just run few commands on your terminal, but they can be complicated while installing them on Windows. So a better way of do, easier way of doing is that rather than installing Microsoft Visual Studio this chat is by installing Anaconda. Anaconda is a distribution of Python related languages which aim at easing patch, package management. And if you install this, it won't just ease you now. Even in the future, if you have to install OpenAI, Gmail, etc., for other robot related stuff, installing them in Anaconda would be way easier. Okay, so first we'll install Anaconda on Windows. For that, as you can see on my screen, you type Anaconda install Windows on Google. You just click on the first link, you come here. You see, you download the first link, download the Anaconda installer. I've already downloaded it, that setup file. You run that setup file. You go to next. I agree. Just me, you select. Uh, you select the position folder where you want to select it. Uh, I won't suggest you to add Anaconda to the environment variable. But if you have no no other Python like uh, default Python running, you can surely register it as your default Python and you just click install. So I have already installed Anaconda on my by clicking this you, Anaconda will be installed. I've already have an Anaconda installed in my system. So I'll run that. Second. I'll just save my the Anaconda I have installed in the right directory. Yes, yeah, so now. So now let's see what comes with Anaconda. Okay, so there's two major things that comes with Anaconda. That is Anaconda Navigator and Anaconda Prompt. Okay, so Anaconda Navigator is basically navigates you to various tools that comes with Anaconda. That they are the tools which have help in data science, etc. Okay, you don't need them right now. But there are there are some IDs also in intent like uh, PyCharm Spider. You can use them, but uh, that's not relevant for our tutorial. So let's go to Anaconda Prompt. This is where we'll learn our code. Okay. So first we'll create an environment for inst for our installations. So what is an environment basically? For suppose uh, assume that you have you have two projects. Okay, you have uh, two separate projects. In your uh, you have to uh, you have only a single laptop. One project requires Python 3.5. One project requires Python 3.9. How will you run on both projects in your laptop? You can make separate environments for separate projects. Okay, in separate environment you can run different Python version, different library versions, etc. So okay, so that is the benefit that comes with it. So we'll create a. a a separate library for uh, our installation this time so for creating a library you simply write conda create minus n and name of the library let's keep it my env en and also you can add the libraries which you want to be installed in your environment now also you can install it later also but we need we know that we need python so we'll directly install uh, python libraries uh, here mm -hmm. So this this environment that has been created with will have Python pre-installed. As you can see, it's asking me. So also with Python, as you can see, other things also come like pip. Okay, so this is required for our instructions. What is pip here? Pip is basically Python installer. Okay, it is used to install various libraries that comes with Python. PyBullet here is also PyBullet OpenCV. These are all libraries in Python. Okay, so the pip will help us install them. So yeah. I've, I, our environment is being created with all these installations. Okay, so I am not disconnected. Now to go to environment, we write conda activate and the name of the environment. Why my en? So, so we are on that environment. On that environment. So now, now what we'll do? We'll install whatever we need. So Python is already installed. Pip is already installed. So now we'll install PyBullet first. For installation of PyBullet, we'll just search to on, on Google, you just search conda install pybullet uh, and this site would come and this is the code conda install minus c forge pybullet. So you just simply, uh, simply run this. And as you can see, pybullet is being installed on our system. We can fast forward this part, I think. Yeah. 
So hybrid is being installed. I have in the meantime I like to show you I have already created a sample file here example dot file for testing a pipelet installation. This is a sample pipe a pipelet file in which we are importing pipelet sp and I'll run this to just confirm our installation. We, you can download this sample file from our description. So description of this video. Package has been downloaded, it's being installed. So yeah, our, our pipelet has been installed in our system. So as you can see, now we'll test our installation. So we'll go to desktop and we'll run our code example.py that I, I have. Uh, uh, sorry, one sec. Um, example, one sec. We'll just run our code. Python, we can run our code by writing Python. Uh, what about it? Example dot pi. So yeah, so you can see this is the simula this is pipelet simulator, and it, ha it has been successfully installed in our system. It was as easy as that. Now let's stop it. Now we'll install OpenCV for OpenCV pip. We can use pip simply pip install and open CV. Simply, simply typing this and this will install OpenCV on our system. It is installing OpenCV. Yes, and it's installed. It is installed my, from my catch because it was pre-installed in my laptop. Uh, if you, it's not in your catch, it can take some time, but that's not a problem. It will install, it will be installed using this command. So that is installing PyBillard, OpenCV, Python, etc. on your Windows laptop using an Anaconda, uh, Anaconda system. And now we'll be moving to the next part of video in which I'll teach you how to install it in Linux. Thank you. So welcome back guys. So as discussed earlier, installing these things in Linux is way easier. So what we have to do is we have to simply install Python, pip, and then we can install anything we want, like any of the Python libraries. So first let's install Python. For installing Python, we write sudo apt, uh, apt get install python. So yeah, I am writing here Python 3 because the default Python version in my system is, py is Python 2. So, uh, so you should just be careful here about the Python versions you are installing. Uh, so PyBillet will be installed in Python 3. So yeah, as you can see Python 3 is already installed in my system. If I write here Python 3, so it will show Python 3, uh, Python 3.8.10. So Python 3 is already installed in my system. So simply install the Python 3. Now we'll install pip. Okay. Python 3 sudo apt get install Python 3 pip pip is as I said earlier it's a it's it, it's a package installers of Python it's used to install various libraries that comes with Python so Python 3 pip here, here as you can see again I am installing pip in Python 3 so yeah pip is also installed in my system so after installing these two for installing other things you have to just simply write pip 3 install pipe and the name of the library pip 3 install the name of the library is pipe pip to install pipelet it's collecting pipelet yeah installed so it's as easy as that now for opencv you, you have to just type 
ओपन सी भी पाइथन तो पाइथन है जिस ओपन सी भी पाइथन पिप्स इंस्टॉल ओपन सी भी पाइथन इंस्टॉलिंग ओपन सी इट्स इंस्टॉल सो इट्स एज इजी एज दैट ओके सो यू हैव सो लेट्स टेक चेक आर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पाइपलेट सो या ये आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेव द सेम सेम टेस्ट फाइल टू चेक आर and again you can see i am using python 3 to run this if the default python version of your system is python 3 then no problem you can just write python py and dot new op5 example dot py so as you can see the installation is done this is the, your simulator py unit oh this is that's it dot of so yeah, that that was the that was the tutorial hope you like it if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thank you